everybody, this is Brother Brandon coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas with another daily Bible reading. And if you have your Bibles, turn with me to 1 Samuel chapter 4 and we will begin from where we left off. <coughs> 1 Samuel chapter 4. And the word of Samuel came to all Israel. Now Israel went out against the Philistines to battle and pitched beside Ebenezer. And the Philistines pitched in Aphek. And the Philistines put themselves in array against Israel. And when they joined battle, Israel was smitten before the Philistines. And they slew of the army in the field about 4,000 men. And when the people were come into the camp, the elders of Israel said, Wherefore hath the Lord smitten us today before the Philistines? Let us fetch the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord out of Shiloh unto us, that we may, that when it cometh among us, it may save us out of the hand of our enemies. <coughs> so the people went to Shiloh. So the people sent to Shiloh that they may bring from thence the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of Hosts, which dwelleth between the cherubims, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phineas, were there. With the Ark of the Covenant of God. And when the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel shouted with a great shout, so that the earth rang again. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, What meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the Ark of the Lord was come into the camp. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God is come into the camp. And they said, Woe unto us! For there hath not been such a thing heretofore. Woe unto us! Who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods that smote the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. Be strong and quit yourselves like men, O ye Philistines, that ye be not servants unto the Hebrews, as they have been to you. Quit yourselves like men and fight. And the Philistines fought and Israel fought and Israel was smitten and they fled every man into his tent and there was a very great slaughter for there fell of Israel 30,000 footmen and the ark of God was taken and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas were slain and there ran a man of Benjamin out of the army and came to Shiloh the same day with his clothes rent and with earth upon his head and when he came, lo, Eli sat upon a seat by the wayside, watching for his, for watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the man came into the city and told it, told it, all the city cried out. And when Eli heard the noise of the crying, he said, "What meaneth the noise of this tumult?" And the man came in hastily and told Eli. Now Eli was ninety and eight years old, and his eyes were dim that he could not see. And the man said unto Eli, I am he that came out of the army, and I fled today out of the army. And when he said, What is there done, my son? <coughs> and the messengers answered and, is, and, and, and said, Israel has is fled before the Philistines, and there hath been also a great slaughter among the people. And thy two sons also, Hophni and Phinehas are dead, and the ark of God is taken. And it came to pass when he had mention of the ark of God that he fell from off the seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck and his neck brake, and he died. After he was an old man and heavy, and he judged Israel forty years. And his daughter-in-law. Phineas' wife was with child, near to be delivered. And when she had heard the tidings that the ark of God was taken, and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself in travail of her pains, for her pains came upon her. And about that time of her death, the, the women that stood by her said unto her, Fear not, for thou hast born a son. But she answered not, neither did she regard it. And she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory is departed from Israel, because the ark of God was taken, and because of her father-in-law and her husband. 
And she said, The glory has departed from Israel, for the ark of God is taken. <clears throat> First Samuel chapter 5. And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it, it, brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashdod arose early in the morrow, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they arose early in the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord. And the head of Dagon and both of the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. <clears throat> Therefore neither the priests of Dagon nor any that came into Dagon's house trod on the threshold of Dagon and Ashdod unto this day. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with emeralds, even Ashdod even, and the coast thereof. And when the man of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said, The ark of God... The ark of the God of Israel shall not abide with us, for his hand is sore upon us and upon Dagon our God. They sent therefore and gathered all the lords of the Philistines unto them and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? And they answered, Let the ark of the God of Israel be carried about unto Gath. And they carried the ark of the God of Israel about thither. <clears throat> and it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city and with a very great destruction. And he smote the men of the city, both small and great. And they had emeralds in their secret parts. Therefore they sent the ark of God to Ekron. And it came to pass as the ark of God came to Ekron, that the Ekronites cried out, saying, They have brought about the ark of God of Israel to us to slay us and our people. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel, and let it go again to his own place, that it slay us not and our people. For there was a deadly destruction throughout all the city, and the hand of God was very heavy there. And the men that died not were smitten with, em with the emeralds, and the cry of the city went up to heaven. First Samuel chapter six. And the Lord and the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell us wherewith we shall send it to his place. And they said, If ye send away the ark of the God of Israel, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering. Then ye shall be healed, and it should be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. <clears throat> then said they, What shall be the trespass offering, which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden emeralds and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For one plague was on you all, and on your lords. Wherefore ye shall make images of your emeralds and images of your mice that mar the land, and ye shall give glory unto the God of Israel. Peradventure he will lighten his hand from off you, and from off your gods, and from off your land. Wherefore then do ye hearken? Wherefore then do ye harden your hearts as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts when he had wrought wonderfully among them? Did they not let the people go, and they departed? Now therefore make a new cart, and take two milk kine, on which there hath come no yoke, and tie the kine to the cart, and bring their calves home from them. And take the ark of the Lord, and lay it upon the cart, and put the jewels of gold which ye return, which ye return him for a trespass offering, and a coffer, by the side thereof, and send it away, that it may go. 
and see if it goeth up by the way of his own coast to Beth Shemesh. Then he hath done on <coughs> done us this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that smote us. It was a chance that happened to us. And the men did so, and took two milk kine, and tied them to the cart, and shut up their calves at home. And they laid the ark of the Lord upon the cart, and the coffer with the mice of gold, and the images of their emeralds. And the kine took took the straight way to to the way of Beth Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowering as they went, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them, Unto the border of Beshemesh, and they of Beshemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lifted up their eyes and saw the ark and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Joshua, a Bethshemite, and stood there where there was a great stone, and they clave the wood of the cart and offered the kind of burnt offering <clears throat> unto the Lord. And the Levites took down the ark of the Lord and the coffer that was with it, wherein the jewels of gold <coughs> were, and put them on the great stone. And the men of Beshemesh offered burnt offerings and sacrificed sacrifices the same day unto the Lord. And when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Ekron the same day. And these are the golden emeralds which the Philistines returned for a trespass offering unto the Lord. For Ashdod one, for Gaza one, for Ashkelon one, for Gath one, for Ekron one. And the gold mice according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines belong to the five lords, both of fenced cities and of country villages, even unto the great stone of Abel whereon they set down the ark of the Lord, which stone remaineth unto this day in the field of Joshua the Beth Beshemite. And he smote the men of Beshemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. Even he smote of the people fifty thousand and threescore and ten men. And the people lamented, because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? And to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kerjathrim, saying, The Philistines have brought again the ark of the Lord. Come ye down and fetch it up to you. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. And uh, next time we will pick up from 1 Samuel chapter 7. And again, I hope this is a blessing to you. I hope that um, this is a blessing to all those who may not have heard the word of God. And hopefully that, um, you know, this can be just, the, the Lord will just take it and just use it for his glory and purpose. And um, please keep me in prayer as, for the preaching of the word as well as the reading of the word. Pray that God will take these videos and do with them as he wills. Uh, please continue to pray for, you know, for me. I still have a long ways to go. And uh, we've we've gotten quite a bit done so far, but we still have a long ways to go. <clears throat> so keep me in prayer for that. And uh, I just pray that you guys will learn something and get something from this. My prayer and hope is that God will sort of just reveal things to you and show things to you and hopefully that you know he'll he'll bless you in that area. Um, anyways, that's gonna be it for now. I love you guys. God bless you. You have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless you guys. See ya. Bye.